We've probably seen enough movies, read enough books and watched enough TV dramas to know that torture was popular in the medieval world. The most heinous medieval torture techniques and devices that you'll be grateful for are in the past. Judas Cradle Fear spread throughout Europe during the Middle Ages as a result of the widespread use of the Judas Cradle which was designed to obtain confessions. A victim was lowered onto a chair with a seat in the shape of a pyramid after being secured in restraints and placed on the chair. The point of the chair slowly tore at the anus or vagina with each insertion which frequently resulted in septic shock or death by impalement. Scaphism Being devoured while still alive bring about one's death. The victim was kept captive inside a boat or a hollow tree trunk while he was forcibly fed to a concoction of milk and honey until he became sick with diarrhea. After that, his clothes were stripped off of him and he was doused in even more milk and honey. After that, he was abandoned to sit in the excrement while various insects feasted on him. Dehydration, septic shock or gangrene were the most common causes of death in these patients. Choke Pair This instrument, which is also referred to as a pair of anguish, was only used on females, homosexuals and liars. The choke pair was designed to be a close-fitting garment and it took the form of a ripe fruit. After being inserted into the vagina, anus or mouth, the device, which had four sharp metal leaves, was cranked open. The victim's body was severely disfigured as a result of the leaves' ever-increasing width. Brazen Bull The Brazen Bull may very well be the place on earth that most closely resembles the condition known as hell. The structure, which was constructed out of bronze and designed to look exactly like a bull, was finished off with a door located on the bull's abdomen through which a victim was coerced to enter. Once the person was inside, the door was locked and the statue was heated up like a hot pot on the stove until the person died from internal combustion. Heretic's Fork the phrase, I recant, was engraved in the heretic's fork in Latin because it was used during the Spanish Inquisition to coerce individuals into confessing their sins. The straightforward instrument had two pointed prongs on either end and it was used to force its way painfully between the breastbone and the throat. The victim was unable to communicate or fall asleep and in most cases, delirium resulted in a confession being made. Elephant Trampling since ancient times, putting a person to death by being crushed under the feet of an elephant was a common form of torture used in South and Southeast Asian countries. It involved an unfortunate victim being crushed to death by an elephant that had been specifically trained for the purpose. The experiences could very well be very different. Others were subjected to brutal torture until the elephant delivered the fatal blow by stepping on the head while others were mercifully released and allowed to repent after suffering only minor injuries. Pena culé Penalty of the sack is what the Latin phrase pena culé literally translates to. Even with that clue, it's unlikely that you could have come up with such an unusual method of torture. The victim, who was typically someone who had been found guilty of patricide, was placed inside a leather sack and sewn shut with a variety of live animals for company. The most well-known combination included a dog, a snake, a monkey and either a chicken or a rooster. After that, the bag was thrown into some kind of body of water. The victim would either drown or suffer fatal injuries from being so close to the terrifying animals that would eventually pass away. Keel hauling. Only sailors were subjected to this particular form of punishment. The errant crew member would first be tied to a rope that was looped underneath the ship and then he would be thrown overboard into the water. Once he was in the water, he would be dragged underneath the ship from one side to the other, both drowning and repeatedly hitting one's head on the bottom of the boat, which was frequently covered in razor-sharp barnacles, were both potential causes of death on the ship. Ling Chi the origin of Ling Chi, which dates back to the 10th century and is also known as death by a thousand cuts, is unknown. It was used as a form of punishment for crimes such as high treason or particularly heinous murders such as killing one's parents or carrying out mass murder. This torturous method consisted of systematically slicing away the victim's body until they died. It was believed that the cuts became more severe over time, progressing from minor nicks to the amputation of limbs at some point. The Rack The Rack was a common instrument of torture used during the time of the Spanish Inquisition. 
The victim is restrained while attached to a wooden structure that has a set of cranks for its mechanism. The cranks are turned, which causes the ropes that are restraining the victim to tighten, which in turn causes the victim's limbs to be stretched. The immediate effect of this is to cause a great deal of discomfort. The Thumb Screw Even though it may not be as fatal as some other forms of torture, this is still very painful a method. The thumb screw functions more like a vice than it does as a screw. The victim's thumb is placed into a vice that consists of two metal plates and the victim is held captive. After that, the vice is made more restrictive. Dunking This method is depicted as being most frequently used to torture people who are suspected of being witches called dunking and it's exactly what you would expect it to be. The victim is submerged in water and then removed before they drown. This might not seem like a big deal at first, but keep in mind that you have no say in the timing of when you're pulled out of the water. Before the torturer pulls you back out of the water, you must be close to passing out or even on the verge of drowning. The boot. The boot was similar to a rack for your legs and was also known by various other names, including the Spanish boots and the scarpines. The lower legs would be encased in a set of boots made of iron and wood, and they would snugly fit them. After that, wooden wedges are placed in the space between the victim's skin and the boot. After that, mallets are used to drive the wedges in, which ultimately results in the bones breaking. This process also causes abrasions and lesions. In some iterations, the effect would be made even more severe by the addition of spikes, nails or blades that pointed inward. Flaying Since the time of the ancient Assyrians, flaying has been used as a form of torture. In some depictions, it is also depicted as a method of execution used on Saint Bartholomew. The technique entails the horrific act of skinning the victim while they are still alive. Rat Torture The practice of torturing rats is so heinous that it's difficult to understand how anyone could have ever conceived of the idea in the first place. The victim is first restrained by being bound to a table or a rack. After that, a rat is positioned on top of the subject's chest. A bucket is positioned over the rat and it is then secured in place to prevent the rat from escaping. A fire is then placed on top of the bucket to complete the process. The rat starts to freak out and scrambles to escape the danger, before it's unable to tunnel through the steel bucket. Live Burial Vestal virgins were priestesses of the goddess Vesta who were known as the goddesses of the hearth. They were regarded as being the utmost importance to the safety of Rome. In addition to their other responsibilities, the women in this group took an oath of chastity and worked to keep the sacred fire burning at all times. If a person broke her oath of celibacy, however, she ran the risk of being buried alive as a form of punishment. Which do you think is the most brutal? Thank you for joining us on this haunting journey through the realms of medieval torture. Until next time, remember to embrace the light of knowledge and let history guide us towards a world where the echoes of suffering fade away, forever locked in the chambers of the past. And don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos.